What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks, and this isn't Droid's Finest. Not right now, anyways. I just finished watching the new Death, uh, Death Note live-action movie, and I wanted to do a quick review on what I thought about it. Uh, the last year, I was obsessed with Death, Death Note, the anime series. I was so obsessed, I wanted to make my own Death Note, but then I realized if I get arrested with a Death Note, they'll probably think it's a hit list, that I'll get charged again and again, and I don't need that. So, ha in comparison to the, the anime, it's not as brutal. It's, I mean, it does have its brutalities. It's pretty nice. I don't know, it's an utter gore fest, but it's not as gory as uh, Death Note itself, the anime. Um, they did a really good job on Ryuk, and if, like, it's not like a cheap reimagining of him, it's Ryuk the way you would expect Ryuk to look in real life. That's what makes it so epic. Um, and the mentality of Ryuk is all, it's right there, it's, it's spot on. It, they did not change him in any way. Um, now, this does take place, I'm not sure, I'm thinking it's like, uh, I don't know where it takes place in this one, to tell you the truth, but I know it's supposed to take place in Japan, I, at least I believe it is, um, but yeah, it's awesome, it, it, it follows the story, but again, when it, when you're transitioning from a series to a long, or, uh, to a, um, an action film, like a live action film, obviously, they don't have the amount of time to fit in every single little detail that you would want them to. But either way, all in all, I give it a perfect 10. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. It, I, when I first heard that they were going to do this, I thought for sure they're going to screw it up. Just like, you know, Marvel screws up some, uh, some of their, uh, live action films and how, uh, well, Green Lantern, just look at DC. What did you do there, DC? What the fuck did you do there? But, no, they they stuck very true to what, what you would want to see in Death Note. And, honestly, the ending, it's it was really well thought out. I liked it a lot. But, anyways, I just wanted to do a quick review before I got back to doing Droid's Finest, because I'm about to start doing it right now. I gotta do my video games. Games that you won't see for about a month. So anyways, I just wanted to put this in, tell you guys that if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. I don't care if you're not old enough to watch it. Hack your parents' account on Netflix and you watch it, damn it! There's, there's no nudity in it. It's just a lot of violence. Just explain to them. There's no nudity. It's just a lot of violence. They'll get it. If they let you play Call of Duty, they should be fine with it. Anyways, I'm going to go because I do need to get back to Droid's Finest. And anyways, yeah, that's my review. It's ep it's absolutely epic. I haven't been this happy in a long time to actually see an uh, animated film turned into a live action film. And it actually turned out really, really, really good. I, I am surprised. So... Yeah, go check that out. Anyways, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Peace!